Give it one more time for Grace in Motion. That's right. It's for the Lord we do this. When you come out here, you leave it all out here. Amen. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but I was touched. been saved. Nor did I grow up in church. In fact, I used to live in dirt, neck deep up in sin, and I liked it. I said that because I don't need no one leaving here after hearing this poem and thinking I'm self-righteous. So I had to justify my case because I've been justified by faith by a just God who treated me justified, never sinned, and my life has always been straight. But I've been sanctified by grace, which now leave me in disgrace, because the sins that I've been known to love, I am now called to hate. And it does not make me think that the same things I preach against, I too also fall and make mistakes. I just have a burden to say that I know your sins betray, the taste that feels so good, but your sins will always cost you more than you're willing to pay. It's just not worth it. And my burden also consists of making sisters out of women who got to be for men that is all twist up. I will love the hell out of you, meaning I will never touch you, nor would I ever lie to you. And if you keep thinking all men are the same, then my burden is better suck for control and make a liar out of you. Because you see, my burden got my mind stuck on imminent eschatology. <laughs> In other words, I think it's time foolery for me to have a personality to make people want to be cool with me if it means not to use that to spread the gospel and tell them what it's soon to be. And it's not news to me that Christians are usually viewed as seen as people who just pack the pews and say, they go back to life how they usually. <laughs> so my burn got me, got me preparing a eulogy for the dude that I used to be so the unsaved can see that it got to be a God using me. I just can't preach the gospel, I gotta live it. And my burden has me live it over Christians who really just church people because they really don't live it. Let me see if I can give you a description. I know it's a given that we will sometimes fall, but it'll give you right to willingly drop the ball. And please know that I understand the struggle, but a struggle isn't a struggle if you never choose to rumble. And please know that nobody's perfect, yes, but it didn't give you right to be promiscuous. See, it's ridiculous due to our lack of faith or effort that the body of Christ is viewed just as, an, as another religion, and I too am admitting that I did things that I wish that I didn't, and didn't do things that I wish that I did. And I wish I gave more thought over the things that I said, but I ain't placed no fault to the results of my own bad decisions. But it could have been different if I had a spiritual head. So my burden got me want to take young men by the hand so I can lead the path. But they ain't got to bleed where I bled, but they can flee where I fled. When temptation rears its ugly head, and I tell them, if you make that bed, you will be sleeping in it. And be careful what don't seize you so, because you will be reaping in it. And beware, some seeds you sow will make you a bed in a box with a grim reaper in it. Let me see if I can get a little deeper in it. I know you was told that favor isn't fair with no evil isn't either. So if you sow evil in the air, for sure, you will be a reaper. And that's 30, 60 to 100 fold. That's why I do 30, 60 to 100 shows to let 30, 60 to 100 know that Jesus' blood washed you. He can free you from your dirty, filthy, dungeon clothes. That's called expiation. That great expectation to your sanctification when you lay prostrate in your face in, keep them in your meditations. Now turn with me to the book of Lamentations. I'm tripping, y'all already got a preacher. <laughs> but what you just witnessed was my passion to preach to the master before they reach a cash God. I got a passion to reach all those who got an ear to hear God. I got a passion to teach the full gospel and absolute truth. If you die without Christ, you will not be resting in peace. It definitely looks more like a lonely pit weeping and gnashing the teeth. And I also give passion to poetry. And woe to me if I ever do this to get a prize or become a winner. It's people dying real fast, Jesus coming real soon. All eyes against sinners. So I gotta go get them. Cause I was called to go ye therefore to collect godly offspring. And that's impossible to do rather myself. So I gotta get this flesh off me. And no, 
I don't always like it, but yes, always in appreciation when God takes me through my tests and temptations, tribulations, trials, and when he tries my patience because I refuse to remain the same, I shall maximize my salvation. And since I've been called to do this, I now go to school to become a Brutus in my theological exegesis, homiletics, and hermeneutics. <laughs> Counseling and apologetics, and unapologetic for my passion for Christ who gave us sweet blood, minus the diabetic, that I may live after this life. And when I get there, at his feet is where I cast my crown for diamonds and pearls. But until then, tomorrow I'm gonna do the same thing I do every day. Try to take over this world. Amen.